Hello, I'm Gary Quinn. Welcome to another episode of Ready, Set, Live. My guest today is Christian Mugrauer, CEO of Mugrauer Group. Christian is an international entrepreneur, best-selling author, and a million business mentor and investor. His mission is to empower self-employed individuals to build seven- and eight-figure businesses that align them with their purpose, providing freedom and fulfillment. His approach is transformative, focusing on coaching and innovative strategies to guide entrepreneurs towards success and financial freedom. Don't go away. I'll be right back with Christian. Welcome to the show, Christian. <laughs> yeah, um, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, it's great to see you. Uh, you know, I know we go um, sometime back 12 years ago in Zurich, but um, we've stayed in touch, and I'm so proud of all the work you're doing. Um, you are a international entrepreneur, but you started in real estate. Um, what was the catalyst from real estate to you know, the coaching business, executive coaching business, uh, because everybody needs a coach. Yeah. Um, I mean, my origin was, um, I was responsible uh, for business development at Swarovski when the company grew from half a billion to $2 million, right? And then I had a, a strong feeling inside of me. I wanted to be free. So um, it was not it was not clear during that time what what is my what would be my positioning. But I had this strong, yeah, in a force. It forced me to to be free. And uh, so so I, I started with um, management consulting just because uh, I did not have a better idea. And it took some steps and steps and steps. And then tried I tried I tried also with intuition to um, to make deals in the financial area. And then I found out that this is disturbing my purpose. So so uh, I, I was unhappy. So so I earned a lot of. Uh, money, for instance, with certain deals together with my wife, Yvonne. So we invented a technique to make more money out of our money. We we earned maybe six hundred thousand within six weeks. But but I, uh, it, it 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 was clear if if I would um, proceed in that way, uh, I would be very unhappy, maybe wealthy, but not happy and then i learned that i have to focus on my purpose to find it and then to believe that i can be a world-class coach and um, yeah and, and 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 this was a very important uh, step to take excellent and and you know when people need coaches um it's really uh from executives to ceos uh it's really all based on the same principle of not being worthy enough, not having self-confidence, but also not knowing where they're going in certain areas. They're good at certain areas mm. of business, but maybe in the personal life, it's not so good. So how do you, how do you maneuver? What's the first thing you ask when someone says, I want to come to you for executive coaching? What is the first steps you do? I mean, uh, um, um, our specialization is uh, to help um, self-employed people um, to find also their purpose and then to make a business out of it, a business which uh, gives them freedom and wealth and fulfillment and uh, so uh, our clients typically they are they are good coaches right they are good coaches but they have um, uh, not a wealthy mindset maybe they have uh, they have fears maybe they have uh, some work to do but they begin sparkling it's about the same uh, with me yeah mm -hmm. and um, uh, and so they have to learn how to believe how to manage their mindset how to attract other people they must learn how how to make marketing they they uh, if a if a good coach has has a mission maybe uh, to 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 help thousands of people if this person have negative beliefs and is not able to market itself he cannot fulfill his mission and then this is exactly what we do for them we show them a way to fulfill their mission and they have to transform themselves and they have they, they have to train marketing they have to train how to market themselves they have to train positioning they have to train selling right mm. so it's the combination 
Why do you think many people are not very happy, even if they have a job or they have a, whether they view it as a good job or a bad job? What is the reason why they are not truly happy? What is what is this the formula? What is it that you feel is the magic potion for that? I think when the, uh, when they talk about burnout, of course it can be hectic. It, of course it can be too much effort and things like that. But the major reason they talk about burnout is is they 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 are um, tired. Uh, because they don't have a purpose and they do not follow that purpose, they do not have a mission, right? So, so they have no enthusiasm. They just go for work. They earn money to survive. Hey, but this is not meant to be <laughs> living like this. So um, this is the major reason. They do not have their purpose. And even if they know their purpose, they do not have the, uh, the trust and, 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 and the belief to go forward. You know, you have to uh, overcome so many obstacles to be able to, to live your mission. And that is how, how our life is meant, you know, to grow. And how can you grow if you do not have have uh, uh, um, the trust to, to do the first step uh, to risk that you fail and then to 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 uh, to see that you grow that you have more success and this is so so beautiful but uh, I would say 90% of the people are not willing to go this path and, and I think part of the problem is that people are looking outside themselves uh, not really uh, they're they're like resisting change or they're resisting the inertia to change the way they feel so they're working against hmm. instead of surrendering hmm. to uh just being authentic and 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 being in the en energy of love i mean yeah people say how can you work with business and love i don't understand that um i believe you can it's a different way of thinking but um, would you say that when you help people find a purpose, uh, what is the value? What do they usually, do you see a shift? I mean, I love to see 100%. my clients shift. What is, what is your shift for them? Um, if it, it's, it's, um, I do it together with Yvonne, you know, she's, she has her psychic capabilities to help the people to feel uh, their purpose inside. So they get pictures, they, uh, and, and if they start to, uh, to, to, to feel that, yes, that's my mission. That's, that's my, uh, purpose and then a door opens and I can I can say that um, today's marketing cannot work if you if you want want to attract other people and if your if your heart chakra yeah uh, is closed or yeah if you if you do not uh, talk open to other people in this camera and 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 to uh, 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 be emotional uh, your, your success will be so limited and um, um, if you do not have a purpose how can you be emotional how can you be enthusiastic about your thing how can you be on fire this is only possible if you have your purpose and then the door opens and then you have to trust trust believe and go your way and i also think you know i've had this conversation with many people about social media and how it can work against you or it can work with you. And most people uh, at certain, you know, the millenniums, the, you know, they, they all uh, embrace social media. But then there's an age group uh, after 55, they're like, oh, I don't know how to do that. I don't see it. I, I don't even have social media. I think you have to really learn how to be relevant in the market and if you're not on social media, you're not in the business. Uh, you're not in any business. And I'm not saying that you have to do, you know, everything from TikTok to, you know, yeah. threads. But you can do various themes to help promote your work or to give people some kind of value to what you're uh, doing in life. Um, what do you say? Uh, when you're teaching people about uh, starting a, a six or seven million dollar business, um, 
do they align with social media? Do you promote that? Do you tell them how important it is? Sure, sure. And it's like, you know, it's like skiing. I, I say, say it in, in the beginning, skiing, mm, uh, you get wet, you, you fall down, it's hurt. Yeah. But if you train five, six, seven, eight times, it begins to be fun. And it's the same with marketing. If you do not have a purpose and then no strategic positioning based on that purpose and then number three you do not have uh, 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 a good mindset because of marketing you say i hate marketing it's you know uh, i don't like it it's a technical thing i don't like it how will you be successful with that mindset but if you have the purpose and then the strategic positioning and then a clear strategy what fits to you uh, and, and, and what's your method to, to sparkle? Um, and where are your clients exactly? On which platform? And how do you have to, which words you have to use? And so, so we go step by step with them to that point and also work with them on their inner barriers. They, they must think, okay, um, I have a mission. I want to convince thousands of people. So uh, I, uh, it's my job to 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 uh to open my heart and uh, um open my 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 um all my um my content to them and i want to help them and i want to sparkle and and, and this is how it works what has been the most important lesson you have learned so far in what in life in life well, that I took a very good decision to, to marry my wife, Yvonne. This made really a difference in my life. So, so it came from a, a, a thousand uh, inhabitant uh, village in, in Bavaria, very conservative. They would say, hypnosis, things like that. Are you crazy? <laughs> you know, uh, this is how, there was no entrepreneurial spirit in my uh, family originally. And 100 kilometers away, when, when I went skiing as a student, I found Yvonne. So, so when she she, when she um, appeared, <laughs> yeah, when she appeared, my life changed. Um, it's 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 something. It's thirty one years ago, wow. and uh, this is uh, really it, it changed my life. And I think that that happens in life at different stages. That you'll meet someone, and they'll be a soul partner, or they'll be an instant connection. And sometimes people read it as, oh, that's a relationship. But I think we all have different soulmates throughout our life where the connection is so strong that it's a, it's mm -hmm. a repeat of how I have to learn the lesson or what lessons do I learn from that relationship. Because I, I believe a relationship is a mirror of ourselves you know whatever we're learning we're learning mm. with our partners um so in 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 life uh, do you still dream big of course i mean we had our business now a digit business we we live our purpose we are completely free financially free as well we travel a lot and then we uh, uh we also had to say is it that what, what, what we are now 52 53 something like that and then we said uh, no, uh, I, I want to grow this company in a way that besides of my purpose, and it's, I stick to my purpose, this is the most important point forever, but I, I want to uh, be an entrepreneur uh, establishing now a, um, a real estate business in the USA with the same methods. Mm -hmm. yeah? uh, I can do it remote. This is fantastic how this is working. And then our, our AI business. This is, um, I, I'm always best in a, like the gold rush in such a situation. Yeah. So, so in, a gold, in the gold rush area, um, there, there were people, uh, they, 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 uh, they were rich with the jeans and, and, and with the, the gold. Uh, no, not with the gold, with oh. the uh, with the, the digging, digging. Uh, ex excuse me for my English. Uh, the, uh, the the shuffle. Uh, the the uh, coal. Uh, no, no, no. The, 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry for my bad English. But but anyhow, for for the jeans, uh, uh, Levis, they, yeah, they, yeah, they, 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 they had to uh, in, invent uh, uh, trousers. Uh, uh, the eighties were big. Yeah, Everybody yeah. Was in and, the and, jeans. and this is this is a good area now with um, artificial intelligence, and uh, I like this to. Um, to reinvent my, my myself every seven, eight years. Mm -mm. Well, I think AI sometimes scares people 
uh, when they hear AI, you know, uh, I, I think it's fascinating. It's amazing what a AI is able to do and how it can. I could see how it could be used negatively, but it can also be used mostly positively. Um, and um, so that's great. Uh, what what is the soul to you? What does the soul mean to you? Translation the of soul. that. The soul means uh, to me something. Um, this is the soul is forever. Mm -hmm. We are here uh, with a, a body experience, with a physical experience, uh, and the soul wants to learn. And maybe uh, uh, I know my wife already longer than this life, maybe. And we sometimes talk about that. That maybe we we made a contract before. Uh, we said I I I force you a little bit, I I help you a little bit, and you as well. So uh, and 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 yeah, and the soul uh, wants to make. Um, wants to learn uh, certain things and um, um, I, I believe I believe that that you have to find God in you and 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 the soul is something I mean we all ha have these 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 parts of God and and, and, and every person has a, a certain part or a, cer a certain sparkle of a certain element and and maybe this is the soul maybe I don't know. But uh, definitely, uh, it's one of the most important uh, things in life. Beyond, uh, it's not only about money and, and, and business and earn money for life. It's 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 to um, it's to find the, these these things. What what's me? Why I'm here? Um, how can I make um, m uh, my progress and, and 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 so on? It's finding your authentic purpose and really finding yourself. And I think. When we look within ourselves, I think every day is uh, a learning experience. Every situation in the now is really um, that uh, excelling us to the next level of what we're learning through individuals or through events or through experiences. I mean, I'm so lucky to be able to travel the world and learn working with different cultures because everybody has a different point of view and I think when you're exposed to that, you really start to uh, integrate it how you want your life to be. But I think that's g wonderful, Christian. Uh, the o other thing is, um, what would be um, the one thing you would really like humanity, if you could, if you could, um, if you could have something done for humanity? What would it be? Would it be more peace? Would it be what would what would be your your mission or your vision for humanity? Mm, that um, mm, uh, we have a funding for children. I think children is the most important thing. Uh, uh, I mean, there are children um, who are a little bit more lucky than others, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. Um, so one thing would be to. Uh, um, to to give all the children uh, uh, the same the same opportunities uh, opportunities in the beginning uh, to grow to uh, to be stable inside uh, uh, to learn yeah um, that's an important thing yeah absolutely um, what what makes you laugh what 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 find you what do you find funny what in life what what makes you laugh um first of all a good film i love to to have really a funny film uh -huh. for instance in the plane uh, a french a french uh, uh, a french film alibi.com uh -huh. number 2 uh, we we were watching it in the business class it was really funny uh, -huh. uh so so i like this and 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 i um i always say i, I like a happy end i, uh -huh. I like films with happy end and also when 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 Yvonne is sparkling, if I see her sparkling eyes, this makes me laugh. Right, excellent, excellent. Um, what would be your um, your 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 routine? Do you have a routine every morning that you do when you get stressed out, or do you follow? Do you exercise? Do you eat a certain thing? What what is your what is your basic uh, schedule that you do? Yeah. Um, so yes, I have. We have several routines, and uh, I had to learn to eat better. Mm -hmm. yeah, you be what you eat, something like this. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I made the experience that I ate um, badly 
for many years and you know if you are 20 30 this is no problem at all but when you get older uh, and especially what, 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 bad, what were you eating what was bad what, what was bad um a, a lot of chocolate oh, okay. to be frank chocolate <laughs> with sugar so, sugar so, is bad yeah and and uh, when i stopped i said the swiss chocolate production has now a really Stopped. big problem. <laughs> exactly. They have now a major problem yeah. without me. <laughs> <laughs> and you have the Lind factory really close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, chocolate, I know. I, I, I was amazed when I went to Switzerland the first time many years ago and saw every corner chocolate. And I don't really eat chocolate, but I would actually buy one. And it was quite amazing. Now I don't touch it because I'm I'm, sugar is poison unfortunately yeah, it is yeah. but but so so what what so so you changed your diet did you become vegan did you become what what was you just made some yeah. minor shifts yeah. uh, i'm not vegan okay. so i like to eat fish okay. for instance and sometimes also meat sometimes right right yeah. it's it's not a little bit uh, i admit that it's not logic 100% no, I, I, but I, I, I go with the flow you know? exactly what you're feeling uh, it, yeah exactly so uh, this is important and also meditation we uh, we meditate together also uh, we have a cleaning uh, a cleaning a cleaning and and, and strengthening uh, method uh -huh. we do this on a regular basis also with our um, psychic team okay uh, everybody has a team uh, to help us for different things and um, um yeah this is what we are doing and also we use um our meditation capabilities to uh to answer to uh, uh, very important questions in our life this mm -hmm. can be uh business strategic questions can also be other questions so we we use our uh intuition systematically to find in us the right answers then we discuss this and this is what we do almost every day yeah, no, I, I believe meditation is part of the tuning into your awareness. And a lot of my business people that I coach, I started teaching them how to use that meditation state. And what it happens is it opens them up in a new way. And they start having breakthroughs. I had a client that she's been doing it for three months. And then she texted me and said, I had a breakthrough. I, I can't believe I'm now going to be an entrepreneur not just working in one area yeah, yeah. so that can be a, a positive thing mm. that moves forward um, and uh, what's your favorite country that you've gone to energy wise that you visited over the years mm, different places actually I like Los Angeles okay very much because of the energy mm, but also um, Ten years ago, I liked Ibiza. So mm -hmm. It's also, it's not so this money energy. It's it's, uh, but it's a, a very fine um, uh, spiritual energy as well. Mm -hmm. So what else? Um, so different places. Um, mm. I've heard Iceland uh, is supposed to be quite incredible. I've not been there, but I, I that's that's somewhere I'd like uh, to me visit. Me too. I, I I haven't been there, so I cannot answer yes, this exactly. question if yeah. iceland is special uh, but but you know it's a it's a strong place there, there are vulcans vulcanos there there is uh, so strong energies mm -hmm, there mm -hmm. nature wise mm -hmm. so it's it's almost logical that that it must be a strong place also i think everybody should try to visit japan mm -hmm. it's a different energy completely but it's uh, such a organized uh, consciousness there sometimes a little too organized but everything is spot on you never get a bad meal anywhere every restaurant mm. is perfect the food mm. uh, the people are very sweet very honorable so I think people should just I think travel is a great uh, learning experience 100% and I forgot can yeah. Mm -hmm. Our favorite, really, in Europe. Mm -hmm. we, we love to be at Cannes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Cannes is uh, at the Côte d'Azur. Yes. Um, uh, and, and 
a lot of US people Correct, know it because Cannes of film the festival, film festival. Yes. yeah and, and uh, last year we were four weeks there mm. at the Crosette so just 10 minutes from the festival building away and it, uh, uh, we did it because we said this is the uh, the kickoff mm -hmm. for a new phase in our life uh -huh. so we got there four weeks and, and I love to hear the sea uh -huh. yeah, it was uh, it was so nice and it worked out excellent so if people want to find out more about the coaching uh, that you're doing, uh, real estate, they can go to uh, your websites. And um, I know you're here visiting um, in Los Angeles. Great to see you. And I know you're going to go do some sightseeing again. Um, but thank you so much for coming to the show, Christian. It's a pleasure to see you after all these years. And you're doing fantastic. Um, and keep up the good work. Thank you very much. And I want to say that uh, uh, it was an honor to have you as a mentor this uh, 10 or 12 years ago. And even I was struggling during that time. Um, uh, um, it, was, it was a very important experience. And uh, I always, uh, always admire a little bit your, your, how you deal with your energy. Also, when we met today after 12 years, uh, the first impression was, wow, this energy state. Uh, <laughs> yes. This energy state, it's yes, great. Yes, uh, the energy um, is amazing. It's, um, um, I like it very much. Well, thank you. I'm Gary Quinn. Join me for another episode of Ready, Set, Live. You can join me at Instagram at, at Gary H. Quinn for more information. Until next time, be well.